Hi everybody, welcome to a special episode of You Had to Ask, where I'm going to cover some of your most frequently asked questions. First up, what kind of camera and microphone do you use? Well, the best thing would be not to tell you, but to show you, so let me show you. Uh, I'm going to take this smaller camera. This is actually the first camera that I ever used uh, for making YouTube videos. It's a Kodak ZI-8, just a little handheld sort of flip cam. Um, it shoots in 1080p, and it did a really good job for me when I first started using it. Uh, the only problem was it didn't have a, a viewfinder on the lens side, so I couldn't really frame my shot while I was in the shot. But then I upgraded to the camera that I'm using now that I'm about to show you. Okay, uh, this is actually the view that I see when I'm shooting my videos. There's, the, there's my camera, and on either side you can see uh, there's one light. There's another light, and behind me is a third light. I use a three-point lighting setup when I'm shooting the You Had to Ask videos. Um, when I'm shooting the uh, Five Stupid Things videos with the green screen behind me, uh, I use two additional lights on either side of the green screen to illuminate the green screen. Uh, but for everything else, I use a three-point lighting setup, including the, with the black backdrop, with that, which I usually use for my And Now the Good News videos. Now, my camera itself is a Vixia HFS-21. It's a Canon, and uh, there's a good look at it right there. It is no longer what I would call state-of-the-art. It's a few years old, but it does a really good job for me. Uh, and it also has a... Uh, a lens hood that I added that is sort of a, an aftermarket extra. And uh, the microphone there is a, propri a proprietary uh, Canon shotgun microphone that plugs into a little uh, shoe at the top of the camera, and that works really well for me. So that's that's my camera setup, and also for, the, for most of my productions, my, uh, my audio setup as well. What editing software do you use? I use a program called AVS Video Editor, which is a very functional but relatively low-cost video editor. Uh, and for certain things, I also use uh, Adobe Premiere Elements. For the um, Five Stupid Things videos and any other videos I would use where I was doing a green screen effect and I had to key out a background, uh, I use uh, Adobe Premiere Elements to do that. And for, but for most of like just the simple cutting, I use AVS Video Editor. Is YouTube your full-time job? Yes, it is, thanks to ad revenue from the good folks at Google. And now in the last several months, uh, many of you who watch my stuff, who are kind enough to participate in my Patreon campaign, uh, yes, this is a full-time job. I'm making a living <laughs> making YouTube videos. It's, uh, it's pretty great. What's your educational, professional background? Educational background, I have an English degree, a bachelor's in English, uh, and professional background, I've never used the English degree for anything because I kind of started the YouTube channel right out of college. Uh, and before I started college, I actually went back to college at about age 25, so I was a non-typical student. I didn't go straight from high school into college. And uh, before I went back to college, my job was for five years I worked maintenance at a truck stop. I was basically a custodian or a janitor at a truck stop, which was an interesting job, but one that I was pretty happy to leave by the time I made the decision to go back to school. What's that in your collar? Is it a pen? A microphone? It's a pen. It's an ink pen. It's not a microphone. A lot of people seem to think it's like a clip-on microphone or something, but it's not. It's just a simple, cheap little uh, push-button pen. That's all. It's sort of a habit. I keep it in my collar. Uh, people ask, like, when, when, I, when I tell them it's a pen, they say, well, what's it for? And I say, for writing shit down, because that's what it's for. Why do you always wear a hat? I guess I'm just used to wearing a hat. I've, I've worn a hat ever since I was little. Uh, I'm just comfortable in a hat. I'm just used to it. Part of me also thinks maybe it's uh, my own act of pointless rebellion, because I always thought it was, it was just silly and pointless that we weren't allowed to wear hats uh, in school, whenever I was in school indoors, you always had to take your hat off. And in elementary school, we had a principal who would like take your hat off when you got in the door if you didn't have it off already. Uh, and that just really just irritated me. I thought, that's so stupid. Why do people have to take their hats off? So as an adult, I wear a hat a lot. Maybe that has something to do with it. It's like, it's the child in me, raging, defying the authority that no longer exists as far as I'm concerned. What are you hiding under the hat? Are you bald? No. No, not yet, anyway. There's, there's my hair. It's right there. Nothing really to write home about. Um, I, I, the, hair, the hairline is retreating. It's getting further and further up there as the years go by, which is the same thing that happened to my dad. 
but neither my dad nor his dad uh, ever went like full on bald. So I, I probably don't have that to look forward to. But uh, yeah, it's just the, the hairline is receding and thinning a little bit. But no, I'm not bald. Not that I would care if I were. Not that it really should even matter, but I don't happen to be. What's your cat's name? My cat's name is Adi. How do you spell your cat's name? Adi's name is spelled O-T-T-I-E. Isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's all you get. All done. Can we see some of your bloopers or outtakes? No. I. <laughs> Chances are if there's a blooper or an outtake while I'm shooting a video that I think is worth showing you, I have shown it to you. I either leave it in the video or I tack it on the end as kind of a stinger after uh, the, the credit screen is done. Uh, but no, I don't, I don't really save bloopers indefinitely. I don't have any intention of doing like a blooper video or an outtakes video. If, if there's a, one of those, if I fuck up or something unexpected happens that I think is worth showing you, I've probably shown it to you already. How do you choose which questions to answer and you had to ask? It is a arbitrary and capricious process. I pick the questions that I think I have interesting answers for, that I think might make for a good video, and I choose those. And then uh, beyond that, I cut or edit uh, for time. I want the You Had to Ask videos to be 30 minutes or less in most cases. So those are the criteria. A question that I think I have an interesting answer for, uh, that can fit within a 30 minute or less video. What do you think of a particular YouTuber? You know, my granny told me as a kid that if you don't have something nice to say about somebody, you probably shouldn't say anything at all. So most of my fellow YouTubers that I have mentioned, that I do go out of my way to talk about or to praise, uh, and just some names come to mind like Jason with a D, or Hugo and Jake from The Bible Reloaded, or uh, Christy Winters, or Jenny McDermott, or Bob Smearfack, or, you know, Dark Matter 2525, or R and Ra, or Seth Andrews, and it's a long, long list of, of YouTubers that I really like and admire, and in some cases I'm actually friends with. Um, if you haven't heard me mention a particularly prominent YouTuber, uh, then it's probably because I either don't like their stuff, or I don't watch their stuff. And if I don't like them, I probably don't watch them anyway, because I don't waste time watching things that I don't like. So there you go. If you haven't heard me mention somebody, or I very, very rarely mention them, or you ask me about a particular YouTuber over and over again, and I never seem to answer the question, it's because I either don't like them or I don't really care about them. When are you going to do five stupid things about feminism? I don't really have an answer for that one. I don't intend to do it anytime soon. It's not on my schedule. It's not, I don't even think it's on my list of potential future topics for the simple reason that I, I discovered when I started talking about feminism that a lot of anti-feminists, a lot of men's rights types and people who are really sort of resentful and angry about feminism and feminists really want me to do that video. And it just gives me a great deal of pleasure to deprive those people of something that they want, no matter how petty and inconsequential it ultimately is. It's just one video on some idiot's YouTube channel, but it's something that they've told me that they want. So I enjoy not giving it to them. Now, I know that there are some people who are feminists who just like hearing, you know, critical voices or having the feminist movement have a little bit of air taken out of the balloon or being poked fun at in a constructive way. And, I, and they would like to see me do a video about it for that reason. And I understand that. And I think that's a perfectly legitimate reason to do such a video. And I apologize to those people that they are not getting that video because it's just more fun for me to deprive women haters and men's rights types and anti-feminist types of something that they want. I'm sorry. It's childish and it's silly, but it really makes me happy. Every time someone angrily, sort of resentfully challenges me to make five stupid things about feminism, I just move that much further away from ever doing it. So blame me, blame them. I'm sorry if you're one of the people who really wants me to do it for the right reasons, but it's not going to happen for a long time if it ever happens. Well, that's it for the FAQ video. Um, if I missed some things that you think I should answer that you think would be frequently asked questions or, or sort of basic questions about me or my channel, uh, feel free to leave a comment on this and ask me the question. And if enough questions accumulate of this type, maybe I'll do a follow-up. Maybe I'll do an FAQ 2 at some point. Who knows? Until then, thanks for watching.